Hello everyone, this is the Honeywell Econo Switch RPLS740B. It's a seven day solar timetable switch for lights and uh, low powered motors. Uh, usually CF bulbs, LED bulbs, it's all compatible with. Uh, in the long run, this will save you money having your lights automatically turn on and off. And it also has a solar uh, kind of function where it'll It'll uh, automatically uh, upload the sunset and sunrise of uh, your uh, location. And uh, yep, that's uh, pretty much it. And I'll go through the stuff you'll need. Of course, a switch, some scissors, a uh, light panel, and an electricity uh, sensor. Of course, you're going to remove your old panel. You want to know what or what switch you want to be uh, controlling. Mine is the one at the end right here. I'll uh, just talk about some of the features so, while you watch this part. It's, uh, let's see, offer security, has a random mode that will automatically turn on your uh, household lights or uh, objects to deter potential break-ins. It's a slim fit. It's a pretty self-explanatory install. And it's compatible with motors and all types of lighting. Uh, it has a backlit, which is pretty nice. Looks pretty sleek. And uh, you can also uh, have it work inside your house as well to control your lights and your anything to basically scare away anybody and save electricity uh, really really custom -able. you can also have it turn on and off different time every single day and of course it has a little light switch on it so you can use it as a normal light switch to turn it on and off anytime you'd like so you can see turn off your breaker panel don't want to get shocked or anything as well you also need one of these guys to just make sure uh, nothing is hot and live so you can see I'm using this checking the switch next door and you can see it turns red to show the current is going through so oh, it turns green when I turn off the lights and then this one the one I'm actually gonna be tapping into this one is totally off so we're good we're set we're ready let's do this all right, so uh, of course unscrew this, everything is saved, no electricity, so we are set. Just two screws, they don't go all the way out. They have a little safety, uh, or not really safety, just a feature in the back where the screws just stay in no matter how far you unscrew them. And then of course you wanna kinda weasel it out right here the wires are pretty stiff in the back so depending on how long it's been in there or how they push it in at the initial install you might have to give it a little yank but all electricity is off and we are safe so here we go this is the wiring setup make sure triple check any electricity but of course i killed it at the breaker circuit table so we are set All right, we're gonna have to get into our packaging. This is the exciting part, of course, of uh, your Honeywell Econo switch. I mean, basically I got this just to save money and a lot of times, not a lot of us can wake up early or come home at a certain time to turn on the lights. So this will save you a lot of money in the long run. I mean, saving a couple hours every day in the morning and a couple hours at night, it's nice. and. With the random mode, if we're off on vacation, we can set that up and make it seem like we're um, at home, so it's nice. Alright, here's the unit. It comes with all the screws and the wiring. It's really nice. And it also comes with your uh, butt connectors to connect all the wiring. There's no soldering, no other basic or crazy tools that you'll need for this install. All right, some basic instructions, uh, your install and what all the buttons do and how to program it. And that table right there you saw is all the longitude and latitude of the major cities in the United States. Uh, of course, the install is pretty sure, black, white, and uh, blue, load, neutral, and line. All the three wires, there's a basic plate you can get for two, three bucks at your local hardware store. Or I'll put a link in the description. It's even cheaper on Amazon. Overall, it's probably a thirty to thirty-five dollar package, and you can tell in, in a short amount of time will save you money in no time.
Of course, you're going to want to move your uh, neutral wire right here, which is uh, designated usually by a green bolt or a little screw on the side. And you're going to want to remove the other two, which are in the quick connect. And how to remove the quick connects is a little uh, slot, which you put a flat head and you can be able to pull these out. And I'll do that for the other two, and uh, we should be disconnected. And uh, I knew I knew I wanted one of these switch. I installed one upstairs for our our house fan, and I loved it. So I thought I'd install one for the outside lights, because uh, yeah, that was a great idea. And here are the three wires: line, neutral, and load. There's your neutral, and there's your load, and your line. Here's the butt connectors. These are all included. And you want to go? In, you might want to twist it uh, clockwise, just so. Uh, you don't fray any of it when uh, you load everything. All right, of course, uh, connect them all. And uh, if you're ever unsure, you can always check and make sure it turns on and off. And you can see it's working right here. On, off, push it on, and our light turns on again. So we're all connected, ready to go. And uh, make sure you turn everything off. Oh, there it is. So make sure we're going to go back to the circuit panel and turn it off. Bam, turn it off. So we're good. So now that the circuit is off and all the power is off, see, we can see there's no power. We're going to push all this wiring in. And remember, it's pretty stiff, so we're going to have to maneuver and wiggle it in. And usually, of course, this uh, box is a lot more... Uh, more volume in the back, it's a little bulkier in the back, so of course you're going to have to maneuver it so you can put a little more in. And that looks about good, and then screw it in of course. This part is usually okay using electric, and the other parts you can uh, hand do it, but I did it. And now you're all done. Just do the rest and screw it in and I'll show you how to do some programming here. So this part I'm going to show you guys how to program it. Uh, to hold this down three seconds to get to the menu. You want to go to mode. You can check out the mode. You're going to have to do automatic mode. Which is good is where we're set. It's hard to see on the screen here but uh, when you look on yours, you'll be able to see the mode. Then you want to go all the way to the end to program. And this is your program number one setting. And to do the daylight savings, you're going to want to do that with the little sun in the top right there. And you can adjust it to any time you want. But of course, I got the switch to use the solar mode. So with the on, you see there. I set it to seven days a week. So when I go to off, which we'll see right there in the bottom right, so this is when you want to turn off, this is when uh, sunrise, so sunrise at 6.20 for me-ish, and uh, you want to see the moon on the top, and that is all set, so now off at sunrise and on at sunset, so we are good, there you go.